Shane's looking for you. Chris was dressed up, she went there and he was dressed up. And even before she, she came, just for the aroma of Christmas really, and then she came in resting clothes, and then just gave one glance to Christmas fell. This is my dear So there, Christmas was with the counter boys and the cars, and they were taking a nice picnic. But while they were taking a nice picnic, the cows and the calves, they went wandering off in search of nice green new grass. So you know the saying is the grass is greener on the other side of the fence. So the cows are looking for the other side of the fence, or like the treasure at the end of the rainbow. So they're looking for some nice grass. They are like the senses. Senses of the conditioned soul. So when the conditioned soul wandering, looking for material enjoyment, Wandering, wandering here and there, here and there. Tasting this, tasting this, tasting this, tasting this. Always looking for green, 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 green grass. But it's like the treasure at the end of the rainbow. It always gets, it never gets closer. Following, 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 following. So when the cow, when the cows disappeared, then the cow, uh, the cow boys, they became very alarmed. Where's the calves gone? So they went running after them. The cow calves had gone into a big forest. A very, very dry grass, good grass, very, very tall. And it's completely dry, like paper, like tinder. So the cows went into the forest, and then the cows went into the forest. And there were some wicked flows of cancer. So they saw their opportunity, they surrounded the cows and the calves, the calves and the cows and the boys, and they set light to the bunch of grass. So then a great fire came on all the sides. And the calves and the cowboy boys, they became very alarmed. Oh, Krishna, Krishna. Now, if we were caught in a forest fire, at least if I was caught in a forest fire, I would be very concerned for my own safety. I wouldn't want to get burned up in the forest fire. And then my concern, more or less, would be. But the cowboy boys and the calves, they know that Krishna cannot live without them. So they were calling out as devotees to Krishna, this life. Generally speaking, they don't want anything from Krishna. But she Rupa Goswami, Anyavila Shiva Shunya. That bhakti should not be covered by the tendency to have other desires. So in general, pure devotee has no desire for his own benefit. Only for what happens to Krishna. Pure devotee, though, when there is some great danger, he may call to Krishna. Preserve his life, he knows that his service, his life, his service is very, very dear to Krishna. So they are And then immediately the danger is gone. Oh, devotee is again in his condition, never wanting anything for himself, never asking for anything for Krishna. So this occasion, the cows and the cows and boys, they were calling out, Oh, Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. So immediately Krishna came. He must respond. When the devotee calls, he must respond. Like Krishna, uh, Gurudev said in Pantera uh, Sai, he says, So if somebody calls from far, then what mother cannot respond? Mother must come. This is the law of love. Even if the child has offended or hurt the mother, still the mother will respond. I have so much experience myself. I can't, especially after I joined the movement. So, Krishna immediately he came. And seeing the fire, but then he's thinking what to do. Krishna decided to swallow the fire. But if the cowboy boys saw him swallowing the fire, then they would actually they would feel the heat, they themselves would become burned up. So he told them all, so you have to close your eyes. Then cowboy boys, they know that Krishna is such a trickster, such a conjurer. He must have lunch because he's killing all these demons, doing all these amazing things. And they know he's just a little cowboy boy, so he must have lunch to do these things. 
Okay, grocers, they have to be chanting in seclusion. So they all close their eyes. And then Krishna, he swallowed up the, uh, swallowed up the fire immediately. And when the cowboy boys opened their eyes, they found, oh, we're sitting with Krishna again having a picnic. I did not give up. How's this happening? This is a dream or what? So Krishna, well, very kindly, he's very kindly, he sent a few devotee to rescue us from the forest fire and material existence. So when we actually call out to Krishna, close our eyes, stop relying on our own strength, and rely on Krishna, Saksatanika, um, Krishna is appearing in the form of spiritual master, and he is extinguish, extinguishing the blazing fire of material existence. So when we rely fully on Krishna like this, in a flash, very, very quickly, Krishna will rescue us and he'll uh, situate us in his very, very past times. Hare Krishna. Herself, 
Ca să s-o ne vedem, oare creștinii va așteptat în care se gândește, intră o cuia. Oare să vedem, intră în care să fie despre el la să mai prezesc. Aia nu este dat, fiind el pe el pe el. Păi creștinii este de fie, nu este intră. Aia nu este pământ, nu este dat la el pe el. Dar poți, ai pe el cu ei, amintii din aia nu este dat, fiind el pe 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 el. This is proud. You are celebrating with proud. Another thing is that you are staying in Brajavasi seven days. The third thing is that you are giving to teach not necessarily that you are celebrating another regular years. Our worship of taking only this regular program. Third, fourth thing is that Krishna is our perfect Rasalila. We are the Brajavasi mind. Now Krishna will go. Thank you. 
cantar.